Hello beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. I am a full-time psychic in the community online and I want to welcome you to the channel. This is your top secret cross watchers video. What are they thinking? What are their plans? What are their feelings towards you? Let's dig in and take a look. So the first card out of the deck in the recent past is them looking at things from a different perspective. Aquarius, you are shaking them up. They are definitely thinking about you. It's very Cirque du Soleil, right? And so that energy is very, um, very charming to me. I always think this looks so cute. It's like, I'm just up here hanging around thinking about Aquarius. Here, Aquarius, you are in your reading. We see the king of swords energy. Your person sees you as someone who's very logical, who's very um, smart, who's very intellectual. Like there's no getting anything by Aquarius. They definitely think you have the goods, my friend. How they view you. They view you as someone who always tells the truth. Someone who is very smart. Someone who is very thoughtful. Your person has a lot of clarity about what they want with you, even though in the past they were a little bit unsure. So when we look at the energy of how they view you at this time, Aquarius, we are seeing love. They view you through the eyes of love. It does look like for some of you there was a breakup, but this came out reversed today. They want to reverse that. So for some of the people who are not in contact at this time, your person is moving towards you. We see the energy of your person moving slowly. This is Knight of Pentacles energy. So we really see them giving a lot of thought. It looks as though for many of you they walked away and it's now in the reverse in their heart space. They're really wanting to return. They want to undo what was done in the past and now they have great clarity. How do they view the situation with you? Oops, the cards are a little bit. Okay, so hold on. Let's see. Those are okay. Can you see that? I hope so. Okay. So when we look at the energy about how they view the way forward with you, they're holding back a little bit. They're not quite sure exactly what they're to do. It looks like they are at a crossroads in their life. For many of them, they have left someone else behind. Many of them have been out of a relationship for a period of time, and now they really see you as the person. They see you as being loyal. They see you as very passionate. Your person sees you as having everything that they could possibly want in a relationship with you, Aquarius. I love the Taurus energy. It's so reliable. It's fixed energy, like your own energy. So you may be dealing with an, a Taurus, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, another Aquarius, a Sagittarius, a Libra, and I see also the energy of the Four Pentacles, a Capricorn energy. Your person feels as though they want to come towards you because you're the one. When we look at the Strength card, they are balancing out their emotions. And when we see the little bitty tattoo of the infinity symbol, this person knows that they have love in your heart that burns brightly. They feel as though they've known you in another lifetime. They feel as though they will, they will always want to know you, but this really speaks to a very magical connection that they feel. Uh, they would like to be in partnership with you at some level. Let's see what the outcome card is for you in this beautiful top secret. We're going to clarify all the cards to get more depth of meaning here. But the overall energy is the Ten of Cups, happily ever after. So let's see what is going into this. What made them come back? What made them leave? You know, what were the energies that have gone on here? Because this is something that I don't think that you see coming, Aquarius. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are, okay? Let's see, why do we have this person hanging around fantasizing about you? We have that. <laughs> oh, they do not think you are single, Aquarius, but you are. 
you are single, but they're wondering about your marital status right now. For some reason, your person is curious about your marital status. The Nine of Pentacles reverse thinks that you are not free. The Devil card energy actually speaks to the fact that they think that you are in some sort of toxic relationship. They see you as a person who's very tied down, that you're, you keep your wits about you, but they also don't see you as happy. They don't, see, well, they see you as a happy person overall, but they see you in a situation in which they think that you'd rather not be in. So they do think that you're in another relationship, and yet they also know that you're not happy. What is the truth and the takeaway your person has about this? They feel as though you will close out a cycle with someone with whom you have a current attachment. Could be a marriage, could be a live-in, but they feel as though you're going to end a cycle with someone else. This person is very intuitive. They're very psychic, I would say. There's something about this energy of the Ace of Swords. It's like she has a knowing. It's sort of like, it's almost like a psychic, psychic energy, a psychic knowing of the truth is that you would really like to move forward. You may have met this person in another country, a different culture. Uh, it came about at a time in your lives when you were both about to face really big changes. When we look at the energy of the clarifying the death card reverse, they want to come back into your lives after having fallen in love with you. And it looks as though children may be impacting the relationship with the death card, but we're seeing that they want to make an offer to you. The Ace of Cups, they have not told you. They have been holding back with this energy of the Eight of Swords. They're all up in their head. They would really love to see you. It looks as though this energy of where they're at right now is the Knight of Pentacles, very steadily moving forward. They see you just busy with your life, doing your life, doing what you need to do. They see you as very productive, very energetic. And the energy that they have about this is the Queen of Cups energy. They want very much to move towards you, and they are moving towards you. They also, oh, look at this, this is crazy. We see that they want to undo a situation in which the two of you parted ways. And the clarifier is very interesting, is that they feel as though they left you, and when they left you, they betrayed you. They feel as though they walked away really without really informing you, Aquarius. They definitely feel as though you would have very good reason not to like them very much. They feel as though you don't contact them at this time because of the four of coins, that they hurt you, you're holding your heart, your hand is over your heart. They do see that for themselves, but they see it for you also. Again, what do they want with you? Wow, look at what fell out. All of these fell out, but these are the ones that uh, I'm taking. These are the ones on top. Six of Cups, they miss you. They feel that you're a soulmate. They want to see you again. They are actually planning a time when they could meet up with you. Where this world card with a van, with a surfboard, says that they want to see you. They definitely want to be near the water with you. And we see this beautiful energy that says that they miss you. They feel loyal to you. They want to be with you. It is Taurus energy they want to offer you. The sun, the moon, and the stars, a beautiful library, a beautiful home. It's daddy energy. It's passionate. It's loyal. He takes care of, or she, takes care of the people that they love. And the temperance card is reconciliation energy. It does look like this person has been heartbroken for some time without your presence in their life. They have not acted on it yet, so let's see what we see for the future. Let's see. What do we see here for this King of Pentacles? What is the King of Pentacles going to do in terms of taking action towards Aquarius? Four of Wands. Okay, so the Four of Wands energy is energy of 
being stable. So the first action they will take towards you will be to build stability into your relationship. The High Priestess says that they are thinking about you. I do feel as though you have mental telepathy. I think you communicate in the 5D. I feel very much that this person loves you. It's Cancerian energy. They have not told you recently at all, but they want this beautiful energy with you, Aquarius. They want the stability. They want the emotion. They want the tenderness. And again, they would love to have a home with you. So when we look at the Strength card, what is your person feeling about you, Aquarius? The Strength card is Leo energy. It is the seventh house energy of marriage for Aquarius. They think that you're not going to be happy with them. They think that, that the way they left the situation, that they really don't deserve to have you back. They don't expect to have you back but they want you back, but they somehow very much feel as though if they reached out to you, you might not respond. They know that the connection is very powerful. They know that you fell in love with them. So let's see what the Ten of Cups says for the two of you. The Ten of Cups is telling us, for some of you, this person could be married. You could be married. You could both be married. But it really speaks to a love that was almost shocking. You met each other under unusual circumstances. This was not anything that was planned. You were not seeking love. And look at what happened. The magician card entered the picture and sort of blessed both of you with that magic wand with a chemistry that's off the charts. It's emotional chemistry. It's all balanced. The magician has all the tools. So the magic between the two of you, Aquarius, is a shocking revelation that you could possibly fall in love at this point in your lives since you're both connected to other people or you both have at least a history with someone else that you feel you still have responsibilities even if it's divorce but you both still feel as though you can't come together right now but your person's manifesting you the magician is the chemistry between the two of you is being off the charts it's truly magical and this person has all the tools to bring the two of you back together again very interesting it's almost like they have information that nobody else has maybe they maybe they have top secret clearance but we'll see. I think they can find you anywhere. So let's see what your person is going to take action with. They're going to throw caution to the winds. Okay, so we have page of, I'll look at this. They're going to throw caution to the winds and tell you how they feel. They're going to open up and they're going to ask you to see them. It's going to be very straightforward. And the energy that I have to go with that is the Nine of Cups. They want a reunion. They want a party. They want to see you. They don't know what the future brings yet. They don't necessarily know what the future holds. But let's see what the Oracle here, the Energy Oracle, says about this energy that your person has for you. Interesting. Boy, this was an unexpected meeting, Aquarius. This was an unexpected meeting. The Angel of Strength. And we have the Strength card. Look at that. So this person is, they may be, you may not have heard from them for a very long time. They are going through a period of rejuvenation in their life, a lot of Scorpio energy. They are coming up with a, with a strategy. And right now, it doesn't look like for some time they could have come to you, but with a strategy card, it says that they will. So Aquarius, that is your love reading for now. Top secret. Sending you love from Chicago. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment.